with the free agency period starting tomorrow, it's it's time for me to put put my list manager self into action. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube video. This is probably the first of many um, trade period videos over the next couple of weeks. Now, if I, if if I have a lower tone, it is actually ten thirty at night. Uh, on, on a Thursday, so 10, 30, 10.30 on a Thursday night, so if i am got a bit of quiet tone, that's probably why. Um, but um, but what I'm going to be doing is um, is, the eight, uh, is the eight free agency deals um, since, of course, the free, as I said earlier, the free agency period starts tomorrow. Um... It starts tomorrow. So these are the eight um, free, agency, free agency deals, which I believe in order will go down. Will go down first. So for, so the first one that will once it opens and then, yeah, uh, just to point out, these are the these are the ones that have already been confirmed. The the, the free agency ones that are rumors that. They don't count. These are the ones that already have confirmed who, uh, what's gone to which club. Uh, have, the players have gone, <laughs> have chosen their preferred club in, in the free agency. So let's get it started, basically. So, so first one I believe that will go down first is Aiden Core. Now, now, as I said, take these with a pinch of salt. These are my opinion. These deals are my opinion. They're get, they're going to be pr the, the probably what the actual deals uh, for these deals are tomorrow, uh, which starts tomorrow. They will they will probably be completely different. This is my opinion. Um. So, and by the way, if I'm if there, if if there's actually some flashes there, I'm actually watching Harry Potter and the or uh, um, not order of the gobble of fire actually so so yeah um so uh, so the first one will be Aiden Core uh, who is going to go to North Melbourne I believe that deal will start first um of course he's a restricted free agent like almost all of these one uh, all bar one I believe is a restricted free agent um I believe Aiden Core. Um, of course, Aiden Core and then GWS. I believe their compensation big will be pick twenty five. In my opinion, I thought maybe pick nine. I thought, but but last second, I'm like, nah. And there's no way that um that uh, that that's not that's gonna happen. I think pick twenty five will be um GWS's compensation compensation pick, um which will lead into. The next one, which is another GWS player, which I think will go second, and that is Zach Williams to Carlton, who is also a restricted free agent. Um, I think, and I think their conversation pick will be pick twenty seven. So in those front two pick, in those, so those front, those first two deals, GWS will get pick twenty five and twenty seven. So it's basically already two second round draft picks for um for GWS, I believe. Um, the third one, um, I, I know we, I know will happen tomorrow. This deal will happen tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to go into full detail with this one. Um, um, I'll go into full detail on this one when it does go through. And that is Joe Dano to Brisbane. And I think that uh, there's been rumors that the compensation pick will be pick it will be in it in the first round pick and I believe it will be pick 16 um I think Essendon will get that will get that pick and of course uh, and of course there's been rumors that Dan that um there's been well speculation that Bri that Essendon are not going to match uh the offer that Brisbane had for Danaher so so yeah, and to be honest They'll just let him go, to be honest. Um, the next one will be um, uh, next one will be um, uh, Adelaide Crows defender Kyle, uh, Kyle Hardigan, who uh, who he has nominated Hawthorne to be his next to be his club of choice, and I believe that the Crows will get 
pick 20, we'll get, we'll get pick 41, sorry, I believe, I don't think, I don't think it'll be a first round or a second round, a second round pick, I believe it'll be around a third round pick, um, for, um, for, for Kyle, for Kyle Hardigan, in, in my personal opinion, um, the next one, I it's so the next one, number five, the fifth deal that will go through will be Rory Atkins to the Gold Coast Suns on, on, on again on restricted free agent as a restricted free agent. Um, I believe the Crows they will uh, Adelaide will get pick twenty four. Um, yeah, I, I believe I believe I don't think Atkins. I, th I think uh, I think second round I think a second round an early second round pick will probably be as high uh, high slash uh, and low um around pick as for Atkins as they can get to be honest um to, to be honest yeah and then the sixth one I believe Jeremy Cameron um to Geelong of course he, he said that last week um that he uh, or or I think it was before the grand final, I believe that he would, um, that he wants to join um Geelong. In my opinion, that was not expected for me because he was he was never going to go to somewhere like Essendon or Collingwood or Hawthorne uh, or something like that. He he was destined to go to one place and one place only, and that was Geelong. And of course, that might come tr that that might come true, and I believe that will. Well, I think it will basically. Um, I think pick, I think pick 13 will be the compensation for GWS. So for, so for the deals with, with Core, Williams and Cameron, they would get picks 13, 25 and 27. So, so two second round draft picks and a first round draft pick. So that's not bad a, a deal in my opinion for, um, that's, so, so the seventh one, let's get this out of the way very quickly. Um, Matthew Scharenberg, um, I don't think Colin will get any compensation because and normally delisted free agents don't, um, yeah, normally delisted free agents don't, um, go, uh, when, when deli players who are under delisted free agents, I should say, uh, free agency, I should say, uh, go to, um, Go, uh, um, I mean, they go the, the, the club that they that they have left, they don't, um, go to for they don't they don't get any compensation, so I believe that will happen. Uh, and the final one which I believe that will which will go on the longest is Brad Crouch to St Kilda, uh, which is a big one. Uh, for me, it's uh, for me, I believe pick 15 would be the compensation, but. As we all know, throughout the last couple of days, that won't happen because apparently, um, um, because apparently, they want they want a lot more for um for uh, or St Kilda or, or or someone like that want want more for um for um. Yeah, for uh, for uh, for Crouch, and especially now that he's banned, of course, I think, uh, yeah, and I won't be surprised if um, Adelaide do force a trade from this deal. In my opinion, I, I don't think it'll be a surprise. In my opinion, um, so yeah, so that is for me the eight the eight deals which I think will go quicker or the guaranteed ones. Uh, probably there'll be a lot more probably to come out of the next week. Um, yeah. Um, and on Sunday, I will do the same thing instead with the trade. Um, with the trade deal. Uh, with the trade period deals. Uh, I'll do the same thing when it, and that starts up on Sunday as well so um so so watch out for that as well so um so uh, so like this video if you've enjoyed it um comment comment down below what uh what 
what do you think of these deals and what 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 do you what do what do you think will happen do you think um do you, do you, do you think um uh, what what do you think will happen in the comment below what, what what will happen over the trade period would you do you, uh or, which will start up on monday do do you think uh do you think so, this player will go to that team or that player to go to this team uh, who know, who know you can comment below that um share this to um to anybody that's an afl fan basically um and also subscribe to that big red big red subscribe button down there um being this side i think i i don't know um so um so yeah so the, yeah so so until next time guys i'll see you guys later